Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Centangle Teacher. And today's lesson, we're using a template. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. It has been so stormy here and lots of clouds and the temperature was negative two this morning and we the sun kind of came out a little bit but I just have thought I needed to do this I love this little say my husband sings this song to me and um, I I love it so I thought it's my girl if if you know and I think oh I can't remember who I'll put it in the description below who who's done it but I'm just going to do where I've got a little gray circle here and I was just getting ready to do the sunshine rays and they're very light so I'm going to come in a little bit so you can see them you can see them right there a little bit better and I'm just going to show you how I I just draw because I don't want anything to be real um, symmetrical and these are off the edge so they're kind of just going off the edge like it was rain out there and I'm doing a little Hollyba effect on those you can see them you could imagine that ray going further out and I like to do a little like the ones coming from behind and you can alternate that and you can come this way and mine are going clear up into the letters so you can see that I just and I'm just using a pencil and I'm going right over with my pencil over the wording and there we have the last one so you can see I'm going to scan back out I could remember which way to scan out on this camera so I scan back out a little bit so you can see the whole thing now I'm just going to use a fragment of a tangle in here on the rays and I um, did a couple and I decided I wanted it to be really light I tried Knightsbridge and I didn't like it and so I just I'm going to do I'm just going to start down here at the bottom so I can kind of scan in so you can see and I'm gonna pick one that doesn't have any letters behind it I'm not sure I like that pen I've kind of yeah there's a better one so I'm just going to do them in dark with my pen so I just went over that line but it's so much easier to do those in pencil then you're not quite as frightened and I am going to just echo or that and then come back and I I call this a little herringbone I'm sure it has a tangle name but or a um, log cabin type effect and I don't mind if they're not exactly even I try to make them a little even But I want to do this light kind of tangle here because it's going to go over the words as we go. So now I'll do one that goes over the words. And when I get to the letters, I kind of skip over that. I don't like to put my pen over the top of the letters. Let me come in a little bit closer. I don't like the pen to come over the top because I think you can tell. So I always just stop and go under. So here I would pretend, 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 and then I would start. You see me kind of decide, is that going to come up? Almost. And there we have our next one. So it, So this line, you know, would come straight up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do these. Um, I do believe I'll film it because I think it's kind of fascinating to watch. And then I'll speed it up. So I'm just going to scan out so that I 
um, on camera and then I'm going to I'm just going to draw all the rays maybe I should come in a little bit so it's a little bit more interesting to watch and you can see that as you do this the words still pop out because the tangle behind is very light and I'm just going to continue to go and I'm not going to film and continue all the way around by doing that but you can see underneath I go the Haliba effect but the sunshine will just pop right out and once I shade this actually I'm going to be adding color over the top so you want to watch um, all three series this will be a series of three again so that you can see um, that we're going to do just a little bit of difference in the uh, reticula as you can see this is a reticula on the on the sun each of these is a reticula and we're doing a fragment in each one you could do a different fragment in each one I just chose this particular fragment because I felt like it suited me and since I'm going to be doing some coloring on it I wanted something that was a little generic Now we're getting to these ones that are off, the, the sun rays go off, and so this is how I do it. I go this side, and then the opposite side, so that I will know when they start to meet in. Now it starts to meet. If I just did one side, I wouldn't know that. So I do alternating sides. just like I did before. So here again, we'll come in. Okay, make my outside stroke. Then I do work my way into the center, going all the way to the edge. Now that we've got the rays done, we are go I'm going to start with the center, and I'm going to work from my from the outside in. And I'm going to start. I decided I wanted to do some flower type tangles, so I'm just going to put a few arches. And then I'm going to echo or aura the top of that little arch. And now I'm going to fill this in. Forgive me for not scanning in on that. Very light, light touch with your pen as you're filling in so that you don't collapse that tip. And then I am going to do some little petals across the top. 
and my little petals are kind of flat and rough. I come back in and fill these in. And I looked back at some of my old um, videos to find some flowers and they're in a playlist listed as organic tangles so you might go through that to find you some organic tangles that you want to put inside of your um, it's I've got sunshine on a cloudy day and this particular tangle is called FOF or filled of flowers So I can add another layer by just putting a arch and then echo that and then fill this in. And then I'd like to come back and, and just put a little vein line here, um, kind of just helps it add looks like a, a little flower. I don't know about you, but when I speeded that up, and I think that's just relaxing to watch it fill in. And we're going to put the petals on. And the little stem up in. And I think I'll do one more right in here. So there we have FOF, and I'm going to work my way around the outside edge, not with FOF, but I'm going to um, look in my playlist and just see what I can find that would be another flower that I could add inside of here, and then we'll do one more tangle. Okay, the next flower I'm going to do is um, a sunflower, <clears throat> sunflower, and I, I really like this tangle. We're going to come up and we're going to do a little, um, oh, again. Linda, you need to come in on it. A, just a little stem. And I'm going to come up the other way and draw. And I kind of call that the first of fescue. And I like to darken those in. That's just me. And then I'm going to aura that, and then a little um, bubble, and then I'm going to aura the whole thing again. But this time, you can see it is kind of a shaky little aura. And let's do that again. So we just aura it again. Now we're going to come back and we're going to put some lines out. And now we're going to connect these. I think I'm going to put another one right there. That's a, a little far apart. <clears throat> and now we're just going to do a little, and I'm going to have to turn mine so I can get it going the right way a little bracket type. And I have to turn mine in order to get those to go the right direction. And you notice that this has a this has flung out that way. I'm just going to use that to start on my next one. If it doesn't come in Exactly. And there we have, oops, I hope I wasn't off. And there we have um, sunflower. And again, I'm going to kind of come up with a little line up the center, just light to give it some. Um, some movement. 
and I, I really like this particular tangle. And we could do an, another one. So you can see again how it's done. And then we aura. And then a little bubble. And then a shaky little aura around. And another shaky little aura around. <clears throat> and then our lines out. And they don't want to be too big. And then I'm going to start here and put my petals. And then come back. Now, <clears throat> when we have little spaces in between, one of the, my favorite things, and I've done it for a long time, is just to put orbs to fill up this space. And I like different sizes. And I know Maria does this. And I just saw a blog on Zentangle um, that Molly was just reiterating, saying how those little orbs can really help fill in and connect your tangles. So that's, you know, I'm just filling it in. It will just kind of connect that down. I could come in and do dark in between where those are, or I could leave it. So, and there's another, I'm gonna scan out so you can see how our, um, You've got sunshine on, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. It's turning out. We're just adding some flowers to it. Now, another thing that I like is sand swirl. And it's got a, a light touch, and I'm gonna put it right here because I need something that will not interfere with my E. So I started. With that shape and now I'm just going to aura this and I came up the back side and I aura that but I'm going to put a couple of more in here And you notice I put my little double right in the center of the E. And I'm going to come up. And I'm not sure where that would go around my E. But I'm going to do a holly dot effect of where it's coming under that other sand swirl. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put a few more circles right here in between and right here in this little space so that I um, just have it connected down and I think I'm going to do one more sand swirl that comes this direction and I'm going to come up the back side of that curve around to the front and embed it in And this time I'm going to go until I have no more space available right in this area. So I think one more. There we have it. So it's kind of swirled into there. So here we have, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day, part one. And we will do part two, fill in, and then part three will be shading. So 
check back and see how we do part two and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel new videos on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays